Hi everyone, it's SkyDLPS here, and today I'm going to be doing a What's in My Pencil Case um, video. I'm kind of doing this back to school thing, um, or school thing, because now that we're in school, we've been in school for like quite a while, um, I've been finished my first um, semester, so I don't know what you guys have done, but everybody has those messy pencil cases, and I'm just going to show you what I have in mind, some tips and tricks that you can use and every day um so yeah so this is my pencil case it's just a vault pencil case and it has pink um fuzzy um leopard print on it and it has a lock and a latch it's a very good pencil case i've actually had it for a while um like a really long while got it at staples um if i do remember and i think it was like 26 dollars because i went to staples recently and saw like oh Okay, so, yeah. Um, so I'm just going to start off by showing you what's inside. So I'm going to take out everything because it's actually quite messy right now. Um, so, yeah. So writing utensils. Let's get all of these out. Okay, so first I have two pens. And I don't know if you can see. These are regular Bic um, blue pens. But this one has scrap of paper inside it, and this one does too. Um, so I just coiled up some scrap of paper around the ink tube and then just put it back in and this is how it turned out. So I really like this. And this actually matches, this scrap of paper actually matches quite a few of the things in my pencil case. So, yeah. And next I have this simple Ticonderoga pencil. It's like the best, Ticonderoga is the best brand for cut for pencils because the lead doesn't break inside. It's perfectly, like, awesome. The wood is nice and smooth out there. You sharpen it. And, um, I just have this rainbow loom, um, grippy on it and a turtle charm and a little topper eraser. And next I have a highlighter. And I put some washi tape around this, just to make it colorful. It's actually coming off, maybe I should fix that. Um, but yeah, just simple highlighter. And then I have like a whole rainbow of colors here. These are actually not all of the, pe the markers that came with this kit that I got, like what I got, but it's most of them, a fair amount anyway. So, trying to put some of the ones back in my oh, I need it I need a new pencil cup it's just full of markers right now um but still I have this marker and ooh, these are all the same marker they have a fine point on one end and another like this is super fine point and this is fine point so there's one end and there's another end so I have a pink one, an orange one, a yellow one, a green one, a blue one, and a purple one. You gotta have purple. And those are just for like note taking because we take a lot of notes in math and I like to make them colorful and fun. So yeah. Next I have the bigger things in here. I have my mini stapler and I got this for 25 cents at... Um, CVS, if you go there um, a little, like, maybe two weeks after back to school starts, they have, like, this huge sale, and this was originally a dollar, but it was 75% off, so I got it for 25 cents. And here I have staples. And this is the scrap of paper I was talking about, the one that matches the inside of the pen. And I put a little Tuxedo Sam sticker on there, and I love Tuxedo Sam, so, and I didn't know what to do with the stickers that I bought at the Sanrio shop. Um, so I just used them to spice up some stuff. And I'm actually going there uh, the weekend after Christmas, so I'm so excited, and I'm going to get a bunch of stuff, hopefully. So, yeah. And here I have my flash drive, and it also has a picture of Tuxedo Sam on it. I don't know what his little friend's name is, but he's pretty cute. And that's how my flash drive works. Next, I have up here, I have stickers. And it has Tuxedo Sam on here. And if you want to know how to make these little boxes, there is a great tutorial um, Paper Pastels has 
two ways to organize your craft space, and I just took that and made it smaller, and then I made one bigger than the other, and then I just made it like an over-the-top box. And yeah, so I have stickers, I have Tuxedo Sam's friend, Tuxedo Sam, and an ice cream, and I just have stickers, and yeah, stickers. Ooh, why are they falling out? And next I have this box and just has Tuxedo Sam on it. And this is paper clips, colorful paper clips. I have them scattered around my folders and such, like, because I color coat my subjects. Um, but I just like to keep extras, even though I have a lot. I don't know why. Um, next I have my washi tapes and it has Tuxedo Sam and his friend. And I put the design pattern that the washi tape is on the outside. And then on the inside. I have my owl washi tape. So yeah, and if, in case you're wondering, I did not make everything in this folder the stripe pattern because I ran out of that scrap of paper. So I was just kind of like, oh, bummer. But I had some constru other construction paper, so that's what I just used it for. And now I'm going to show you how I put it back in my pencil case. So. That, I already put my washi tape in here, this little pocket, but now I'm going to put this, my paper clips, and my stickers, and this elastic strap, so if you can see that, I'm pretty sure you can. So I'm going to put my stickers here, and my paper clips here, and on the bottom, I'm taking my staples, and my flash drive, and I'm putting it in that corner, along with my stapler, my mini stapler, like that. And then for my pencils, I start with my markers here, so I'm color coding them, of course, because the neat freak I am. And then my two pens, and my highlighter, and my pencil. I'm just going to switch my pencil around here. And after all, it just looks like this. So I have my color-coded markers, two pens, a highlighter, a pencil, a flash drive, staples, mini stapler, um, stickers, washi tape, and um, paper clips. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And I really hope this kind of helped you a little bit. And be sure to check out the um, Paper Pastels, Two Ways to Organize Your Craft Space, and make some little boxes. And um, I will see you in my next video. Bye!